G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and do I have something special for you today? This is the F-18C Hornet, recently debuted at E3 this year. Matt Wagner, affectionately known as WAGS to most of the DCS community, was kind enough to send me through some exclusive footage of the E3 demo. Now the demo, as you can see, takes place on the NTTR map, there is a few air targets to engage, there was a few ground targets to have rocket and gun runs at, and you'll see all of that in this video. Matt's about to go for an air kill here, so I will just let him go through, and have one away. Now this is obviously using the Sidewinders, so these are IR locks. Second away. You see countermeasures being deployed from the aircraft. And splash. Good kill. So anyways, as I was saying, obviously the aircraft, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, is currently in the pre-alpha phase. This is why a release date hasn't been announced, it's not quite ready yet. Currently, not all of the systems, as I understand it, are fully implemented in the aircraft. Exactly what systems are still in development, I have absolutely no idea at this point. However, WAGS has promised that over the coming weeks and months, he will be doing some detailed videos showing first the systems that are active on the F-18 at this time, and as each new system comes online, going through exactly how it operates, of course eventually culminating in the early startup and shutdown videos that are generally released just prior to early access. So I guess the question that I see most commonly asked is why is it taking so long to develop these systems? Well, while I'm not a developer, I can make a few logical assumptions. The first thing is that the F-18C is the first aircraft of its type, US fighter, that has been modelled in full fidelity in DCS. Many of its systems that need to be modelled have not been created in DCS at all. The F-18's closest sister ship is the F-15C, and it's important to remember that it uses simplified systems modelling. It's a Flaming Cliffs aircraft. These systems are not fully modelled. This means that not only do the systems need to be written so that the F-18 can use them, but the simulation environment itself will need to be coded so that these systems can work and have something to interact with. Now as a general rule, you just can't jam code into an engine. It needs to be written in such a way that the F-18 can use it to make itself operate. But at exactly the same time, that code is either going to work with or not interfere with existing aircraft that are already within the simulation. An example here would be the F-18 systems, a full fidelity aircraft, needing to be able to integrate with the F-15C systems, a simplified aircraft, and have both aircraft be able to operate with one another seamlessly, as if they were both modelled the same way. The second thing to consider is while the F-18C is in the process of being phased out of service, it is still an active frontline aircraft and it is currently in use by the US Navy, the US Marine Corps, the Royal Australian Air Force and the Spanish Air Force. While the aircraft itself has been declassified, it's safe to assume that there would be some level of red tape that the developers are needing to jump through in order to develop a module for an aircraft at this level of fidelity that is still in active combat at this point. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more sneak peeks at the F-18C and maybe some of the other modules that pop up in the future. No guarantees on it, but I have my fingers crossed. Anyways, I left you a little sizzle reel at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it, and until next time, click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.